हरि ओ सहना सहनो भुन सहवीवाहे तेजस्वीनावधितमस्तुमाषावे ओ शाति 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 दिव्यात्म today we will be discussing in this video three questions as asked by dehotis to our worshipful gurudev sri swami shivanand ji maharaj and how gurudev answers the first devotee asks swami ji you say atman is our real self and we are in reality universal and absolute you also see the personal relative self involves the idea of individuality but the absolute doesn't the question arises are there two selves one involving individuality and the other without individuality but universal Gurudev's answer is there is really one self which is the absolute the relative self is not something different from the absolute self but it is only the absolute self experienced to the adjunct or the instrument of the mind an object has an independent nature of its own but when it is seen through a distorted color glass it also appears distorted and colored it doesn't however mean from this that the object is both perfect and distorted at the same time the difference is only in the means of perception and knowledge this is the case with the experience of the absolute self with the help of the finite mind acting as the instrument of knowledge the difference is in the medium of perception the reality is one now the second question as asked by the devotee is how does a yogi see the subtle rudiments of the matter with his yogic vision gurudev answers as you would see the material objects with the help of a material instrument in the form of the eye the yogi would see subtler objects through the help of subtler instruments except in the plane of intuition in all other lower planes there exist a subject object relationship as far as cognition is concerned the only thing is the instrument used in perceiving the object should be the same material of which the object of perception is made of for further grasping of the exact vision of the yogi you yourself should become one now the third question asked by a devotee is as follows he says though i have attended satsang all these years and though i have been doing japa and dhyana all these years i have not yet a confirmed belief in god and in his name there is yet moha for family for position for money and for worldly life it is strange swami ji i confess now gurudev replies maya is powerful 
and except in very rare cases where the sanskaras are very strong taste for a life of contemplation doesn't manifest itself in man no doubt satsang japa and dhyana help a sadhaka a lot but the avarana of avidya or the veil of ignorance is so thick that these are not sufficient to pierce it they only create sanskaras which take safe in future births but if at the same time you do vichara develop viveka and cultivate vairagya then the progress is extremely rapid vairagya and viveka are absolute necessity without these no amount of satsang japa and dhyana will produce immediate results maya is extremely powerful she can be annihilated only through dridha vairagya only through intense dispersion hari om tat sat hari hi